Hello, my name is Juan Berizuela, and this is my professional project for Florida International University. My project focuses on opera and the young public, specifically how to attract teens and young adults to the FGO, or the Florida Grand Opera. Opera is a dying art form. This statement captures the subconscious perspective of a society that is accustomed to Facebook, Broadway musicals, pop music, and reality TV. The Miami Herald reported in November 2014 that the Florida Grand Opera was facing both financial and cultural difficulties. The troupe staff count has dwindled exponentially, and it has spent $19.4 million more than its return since 2006. One of the biggest factors causing these financial struggles is the seeming lack of commonality with youth. Levin writes in the Miami Herald, quote, Opera has often suffered from an old-fashioned image of beefy, posturing singers in stodgy productions that draw an elderly audience more interested in prestige than in art. The research that follows concentrates on this problem of FGO. The study explores opportunities for FGO to solve this seeming disconnection with the young public, an opportunity is presented to analyze how teenagers and young adults view the opera genre and how FGO can more effectively target this audience segment. Let's review some of the more popular social media channels of FGO. Its Facebook page has more than 10,000 followers, has the highest level of engagement among all its social media channels, has a great rating among 71 people. Its best postings are production reviews, production trailers, season announcements, event promotions, and photographs, but some of these photographs are low quality. FGO's Twitter has the second highest level of engagement, although it's still low for a Twitter, a Twitter page. It has more than 11,000 followers and, is, and has been invited to more than 200 direct directories on Twitter. Its best posts are fun facts and production reviews. However, there are very little posts that include pho photography or video. FGO's Instagram page has more than 950 followers and an impressive array of images. But since January 2016 and up to mid-March 2016, it has only had four postings, unfortunately. And Instagram is not promoted on the FGO website. FGO's YouTube has no videos posted between January to mid-March 2016, and mostly had videos from past seasons. The most recent video was from December 2015. However, the YouTube channel has more than 590 subscribers. Now let's look at FGO's mobile application for smartphones. On this app, you can buy tickets, view season listings, donate, and access photos, videos, and social media of FGO. The main color of the app is purple. This is a little confusing for FGO audiences who look at the app because FGO's color is mostly associated with red. Also, it's hard to read text and distinguish the icons of the app on top of the collage of images that usually appears on the app itself. In regards to FGO's press materials, the FGO website has its own press room section, which has a press kit, news clippings, press releases, and a link to FGO Flickr. There are Spanish language alternatives to some of these materials within the press room. However, the press room has not been updated since 2013 and 2014 for parts of the section of the website. Press releases are picked up by many outlets related to the arts or to the classical and theater genres and other local media. ToughNarl.com actually makes up the bulk of coverage for FGO. Opera World, South Florida Classical Review, Mammy Classica, Mammy Herald, Mammy New Times, 101.5 Light, Light FM, SouthFlorida.com, Diario Las Americas, and El Nuevo Herald are some of the outlets that run press releases by, the, by FGO. In regards to advertising, the FGO Director of Marketing in an interview said that community outreach proves far more effective than paid advertisements. This includes word of mouth, e-blasts, and personal outreach. Facebook boosting and retargeting and IP targeting are used by FGO as forms of advertisement. Efforts are mostly in-house for marketing, for marketing purposes. Although the opera does do list exchanges of the Metropolitan Opera in New York. The way they measure their advertising efforts are through Google Analytics, Google AdWords, and Tag Managers. The FGO Director of Marketing described the target market for FGO. They are South Florida adults past their 20s with secondary education and a disposable income. They are also existing subscribers and consistent loyal audiences. In the summer, they actually run a subscription acquisition campaign by targeting existing buyers and buyers from past seasons of their ticketing system. 
The target market also depends on the theme and narrative of each opera production. For example, for Before Night Falls in 2016 to 2017, which is about a gay and gay Cuban dissident writer, Brendan Glynn, the FGO director of marketing, plans to market the opera with Spanish language materials. He said, we don't do cookie cutter marketing campaigns. FGO is the only leading opera company in the, the entire South Florida region. However, this does not mean it doesn't have cultural competitors. For example, pop and music concerts and music by top 40 artists at South Florida venues are definitely competition, as well as the clubs in the beach, shopping districts and shopping malls, museums, and the art scenes. Strengths of FGO are that it's the seventh oldest opera company in the U.S., it's located in metropolitan areas of South Florida, has a presence in a diverse group of social media accounts, and has an extensive and strong repertoire of outreach and educational programs, as well as having contact and presence in regional South Florida media. So weaknesses are the decreasing attendance among the young public, low social media engagement, low revenue and low staff counts, and divergence from the mainstream top 40 kind of popular culture. Some opportunities for FGO are definitely social media, college students looking for cheap, affordable cultural events, and the numerous academic and non-academic programs of the performing arts from elementary to college level. Two threats for FGO are the increasing attraction of popular South Florida hotspots and less expensive cultural events that happen in the metropolitan areas. The primary research for this campaign had a mixed methods approach, included a survey and interviews. The information from the interviews are spread out through this PowerPoint presentation. The survey results indicated that respondents were mostly the ages 20 to 24, had some college education, were single, never married, and identified as students. 59% of them have lived in South Florida all their lives, 96% enjoy the movies, and 82% enjoy musical concerts of the top 40 type of artists. 58% participate in cultural events at least once a year, and 35% participate at least once a month. Most of them learn about cultural events through social media, word of mouth, through emails and newsletters, and less than half of them through TV and radio. Half of respondents had heard of FGO, mostly through friends and family members, social media, and other events. More than half of them had never seen an opera, but most of them would be interested in seeing an FGO production. Those that wouldn't be interested said that it would be boring, and one person said that it would be boring and difficult to understand the opera, and there, that there will be a lot of old people there to see it. Survey respondents mostly used Facebook first, Instagram, YouTube, Snapchat, then Pinterest and Tumblr, and Twitter. For this campaign, we have a target market profile. Her name is College Junior Jessica. She's 20 years old, single, Cuban-American, and born in Miami. She's getting her bachelor's degree in Miami and is in her junior year of college. She lives on campus of parental financial assistance, but she has a part-time job at the college earning $10 an hour. She saves a portion of her earnings and spends the rest on dorm necessities, class materials, and hobbies. She prefers to spend her money on many items of low cost instead of few items of high cost. College Junior Jessica has hobbies that include outings with friends, the movies, occasional pop musical concerts, once or twice a year. She is not a theater aficionado, but she is a fan of Broadway musicals like Hamilton and Wicked. There's no TV in her dorm, so she learns about cultural events through social media or word of mouth. She has profiles on Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat. The goals of this campaign are mostly based on FGO's mission, which includes becoming a driving force of cultural growth in South Florida, becoming a leading cultural institution, representing the diversity of South Florida, and attracting young promising talents to create a solid future for the tradition of opera. The objectives, which should be completed within one year, are to increase social media followers by 50%, increase online engagement doubly, increase local and national media visibility by 50%, and increase young audiences' engagement and attendance at FGO performances by double. Strategy number one of the campaign, create engaging and intriguing, intriguing content on social media that invites viewer interaction. We will focus on Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat for the multimedia features. Tactic number one, update photographic equipment and capture more rehearsal shots for social media posting. Photography on FGO social media could be frequently low quality. A Canon EOS Rebel T6 EFS 
cost $549.99 on the manufacturer's website. This is a great investment for photography purposes. It is high quality enough to catch a viewer's eye without incurring the repeated cost of outsourced professional photography for several events. The image on the left was taken on an Apple iPhone at an FIU special lecture. The image on the right, which was taken by me, was taken on a Canon EOS Rebel T5 DSLR camera. The differences in vibrance, skin tone, and overall quality between the two images in the slide are notable. This is why it is such a great investment for FGO to purchase a Canon EOS Rebel camera. It will make your photos look great on your social media channels. Tactic number two, consistently implement on this day posts and postings and reviews on both Facebook and Instagram. Here we will refer to using these tactics across both FGO's Facebook and Instagram accounts. Here's an example of a production review posting on Facebook. On Instagram, FGO can post a screenshot of the review's home of the review's webpage with the same text used on Facebook. Postings of favorable, favorable reviews should be showcased on FGO's Instagram at the same time they are posted on Facebook, which should be every time a review is ever published. Here's an example of an on this day post on Twitter. We need to carry these onto Instagram and onto Facebook. The text of a tweet for on this day can be posted on Instagram and Facebook as well with an image that relates to the fun fact. On Facebook and Instagram, FGO can post the same text of an image of Verity in this example, or an image of the production that is mentioned in this tweet, with credit given to the source of the used image. Tactic number three, add Snapchat to FGO's list of main media channels. Snapchat is on the rise among those ages 18 to 34, and 60% of monthly users of the app are 13 to 24 years old. FGO has a Snapchat account, but it doesn't promote it on its web page or anywhere else in its social media. FGO should have a snap code, which is like a barcode that can be scanned to add FGO as a friend on the Snapchat application or the Snapchat icon on its web page so that people can know that it exists in the opera company. FGO can take pictures of casual rehearsals, lectures and discussions that occur before performances, and outreach programs in action on their Snapchat user. The perhaps the most significant aspect of Snapchat is a geo filter. FGO can create its own geo filter and place it within a square footage of the performance space for a given night. When a user of the Snapchat application swipes right and left after taking, after taking a photo or video, they will see the FGO geo filter and will be able to add it to their own video or image that is taken before or after a performance. Strategy number two, connect with local and national cultural bloggers. This strategy pushes beyond reaching traditional media and towards connecting with the blogosphere. Tactic number one, contact online bloggers dedicated either to the performing arts or to general cultural coverage. FGO is already covered by some online sources. However, it must pinpoint sources with more online leverage that are both viewed by the target market of young public and picked up by major news. FGO can begin discovering influential South Florida blogs by first typing a phrase like Miami blogs, where results are blogs and sites that have rankings of famous Miami blogs. Even if some blogs seem unconnected to opera, analyze them for possible exposure opportunity. For example, The Wordy Girl, a Miami fashion blog, had a special ticket giveaway for a Cirque du Soleil pr production in Miami. FGO could have a great benefit to connecting with Wordy Girl. Each blogger is a bridge between the opera company and the digital realm. Plus, bloggers have digital presence on social media. This can help FGO attract the young public to the company. Also, some blogs have connections to the mass media, indicated here in this list. Tactic number two, invite the bloggers to review FGO productions free of charge. It is now a trend that bloggers are invited to industry events to review products, or to review productions, or to review the events themselves, free of charge. This serves as exposure for the person hosting the event or the company holding the event. This exposure can also go to the mass market and to the young public eventually. Strategy number three, immerse FGO programming in South Florida cultural hotspots to reach younger populations. We'll focus on Wynwood and Fat Village in South Florida and on the young adult population.
The tactic is to host fundraisers for our education in these neighborhoods. Wynwood has been growing immensely as a popular hotspot in Miami. It is especially famous for its Wynwood Art Walk and crowds of 20, 30 somethings, culinary spots, bars, and galleries. FGO can organize a culinary bar or gallery walk of its own in Wynwood. The objective would be to raise funds for arts education in the public school system. Each attendee pays a fee to participate in the walk, and the funds go towards the company's outreach programs and interact directly with public schools, such as informances and the read-along sing-a-songs. To make a walk happen, FGO must first connect with the local businesses in Wynwood. The opera company could strategically plan to contact restaurants, bars, or galleries that are close to proximity to each other for an appropriate walk. The best method is to choose businesses along Wynwood's more famous art walk strip. To effectively promote a Wynwood walk, FGO must produce a press release and media alert about the walk and its philanthropic purpose. The company should also take advantage of eBlast announcing a walk so that current subscribers and donors of FGO are aware of the event. Lastly, FGO must advertise about the walk on social media, sponsoring a post about it on Facebook and Instagram, and advertising on Snapchat. Fort Lauderdale's Fat Village was started in 2000 by developer Doug McCraw. It is located in downtown Fort Lauderdale. Its popularity has trailed that of Wynwoods, but it is increasing in visibility in the South Florida region. The neighborhood has its own art walk, galleries, and art association. The same approach to using Wynwood as a location for a walk should be applied to FGO's use of the Fat Village neighborhood. The same methods of reaching out to local businesses and promoting a walk should also be used when considering Fat Village as a hub for attracting the young adult public. The last strategy for this campaign is Rush Night at FGO. This strategy was inspired by an interview with FGO's Director of Education, Rebecca diaz Fandre, as well as by my own experience as a college student. Rush Night at FGO seeks to create relationships with South Florida universities and colleges in a way that results in an increase in participation among the young adults at FGO performances. The word rush has a connotation that is familiar among the college students. At universities or fraternities and sororities, Rush Week is a recruitment period for the organizations that usually occurs at the beginning of the academic year. In the genre of theater, the word rush has its own connotation of describing the time frame before performance when tickets are sold at discounted rates in order to fill seats in the house. FIU's Honors Colleges, Honors Education the Arts Program, or HARTS Program, gives Honors College students discount tickets to cultural events in South Florida. FGO would benefit from a partnership with the FIU Honors College HARTS Program, as well as with other universities and colleges within the South Florida region, listed here. In an interview with FDO Director of Marketing, Brendan Glynn, Glenn mentioned that Friday evening performances tend to attract the younger audience. Therefore, for a rush night at FGO, FGO can sell 60 discounted tickets first come first serve to college students in Miami-Dade County and Broward County combined within a month in advance of a Friday night opera performance. On the Friday performance night, FGO would set aside 30 seats for college students at each of its venues in Miami-Dade County and Broward County. Tactic number two of the strategy. Once a student purchases a ticket through the Rush Night program, FGO can solicit the student's email from the institution to communicate with him or her before and after the performance they attend. The student's email could be added to FGO's list of eBlast subscribers to ensure that the participating student has a choice in continuing a relationship with the opera company. Acquiring this communication with a college student has the potential to create an, a future FGO subscriber. To evaluate the outcome of the strategies described previously, FGO can adopt a two-step process. The success of the Wynwood and Fat Village strategy and of the Rush Night at FGO strategy is determined by funds raised. Social media and consumer sentiments are more intricate factors to measure than funds, which is why the two-step process of evaluation highlights social media, KPIs, and the consumer survey. Thankfully, social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat provide quick and clear statistics for each post that is either posted or for free or sponsored. Moreover, sponsoring a post on social media comes with additional tools that help a company measure the reach of a sponsored post. FGO, though, must not rely solely on social media KPIs. It should also launch a consumer satisfaction survey that addresses its outreach programs and social media efforts on Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat. This should be launched a year from the first time the campaign is implemented. Such a consumer survey 
should be posted on Facebook and Instagram and promoted on Snapchat. Should also be emailed to all eBlast listservs. It is important to include consumer demographic information in the survey so the company knows how many survey respondents are 16 to 34 year olds. The budget of FGO was not accounted for in this campaign. The budget would be significant in regards to the tactics of paying for ads on social media, paying for the Snapchat geo filter, providing free admission and discounted admission to bloggers and college students respectively, and planning for events in the Wynwood and Fat Village neighborhoods. Further research must be conducted to ensure that FGO can afford these elements of the campaign. Another significant limitation this campaign is in the research conducted, which involved an inconsistency in survey responses. In question 13 of the survey, 42 out of 99 respondents answered that they had seen an opera in their lifetime. In question 14, 62 respondents said that they had seen an opera. This could be because survey respondents decided to skip question 13, or because they felt confused by the language in the two related questions. Further analysis is needed to understand what could prevent this from happening in a survey again. The survey also had 103 fully participating respondents and 11 partially participating respondents. This means that not every respondent answered every question. A more representative sample for the survey would have been 400 to 500 responses. FGO plays an important role in the history of the genre in the United States. However, as in most opera companies, FGO seeks to attract more younger audiences to its performances. The company does not need to change its mission or values to fulfill this goal. It can attract more teens and young adults through a more consistent use of social media tactics, interaction with online influencers in the blogosphere, the use of cultural hotspots to attract the young public through its favorite pastimes, and partnership with local colleges that provide opera experiences for students that are both exceptional and affordable. This concludes my professional project. Thank you.